Automation is something I talk about a lot on this channel. And on a recent video, I had a bunch of comments of people saying, please do a video on automation. So I decided to dig into the vault of my main training program and pull out a video where you can watch me automate an entire mix from start to finish in real time. So you'll see exactly how I automate a mix track by track, all of the detail and nuance that goes into it. And it goes way beyond just, you know, automating the volume of the faders. So settle in. I think you'll get a lot out of this. And this is something that amateur mixes are really lacking, but can really take your mix to the next level and make it more interesting, more exciting for the listener. So enjoy. Let's jump into automating. So I typically like to start with the overhead track and really just get that nailed down. So you'll see me riding and emphasizing crashes, and then also just making sure that the overhead sound is just consistent. So let's just dive in. Wanna dance in the summer, you've always been the believer, I'm always left to wonder, the one. Wanna dance in the summer, you've always been the, wanna dance in the summer, you've always been the believer. bit too loud at the end. So I think we got some kind of quiet, almost kind of ghost notes in the drums here. Yeah, some ride stuff, which we didn't even look at before. Yeah, Mark, I'm using the um, the fader port. It's just like a single fader thing here. And I just select whatever track I want to automate here. And then I just ride the fader on it. And yeah, it's like trying to do all this automation with a mouse is like, is horrible. It's a horrible experience. So uh, an external fader is uh, a must for me. Okay, so he's kind of right, he's on the ride symbol here. Okay, so I'll have to bring that up for sure, but then we've also got some Tom stuff. Or let's just bleed. Or no, it is Tom's. So let's, um, let's automate our gate on the Tom's here to bypass the gates so we get these hits. Uh, Dave, it's funny you asked that. I just was ranting about the um, the artist mix. I also tried to get the iPad app for Pro Tools, and I couldn't get that to connect either. It's like it's kind of a joke, but I've gotten to work on the iMac that I use for mixing at at work here. But the the uh, laptop that I use, I haven't gotten it to talk. So yeah, um, I don't know why that is, but it it works fairly well it's pretty responsive but everything else about the app they they put so many features in that it's it's more menus so it's it's really just faders to me yeah i think that would be cool to use i, I wanted to use it when i couldn't get my artist mix to work and uh yeah i just i couldn't get that to work either so guys i'm just uh, automating my gates here because he's doing a lot of soft hits on the drums. I think this is the only section of the song we'll need to do this. I'm just pretty much just turning the gates off. Let's get back to the overheads here. We'll probably have to crank this up a lot so we can get kind of all those subtleties. Me and say, 
on the room track here. Yeah, let's move that up a bit. on those first few hits. That last snare really wanted to pop out there. All right, I'm going to go back to the overheads now. more ride there. So you see how the crashes are kind of disappearing at points here? That's what I'm trying to fix. I wish I could hear more of the kind of ticks in between on the hi-hat here, so I'm actually going to throw on a limiter. the hi-hat's a little loud in that section, so maybe let's bring them down overall. And we'll bring it up here in the verse.
So you have that, just that little bit of extra effort here in this section just keeps the rhythm moving. Being able to hear all those hi-hat hits. Back to the overheads. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. Disappears there. I think the ride mic will probably fill that in a bit. <laughs> okay i'm going to uh be kind and fix that let's grab this crash hit it's playing the same part so we should be able to just drop that yeah that's better <laughs> watch those symbols when you're editing drums Let's fill in with the ride mic a bit. The scars, and now I'm here. My best friend died. And I'm the one that's still alive. And you say it's gonna be okay. Over and over and over and over and over. Do less of our distorted drums here. Like there's some uh, little quiet ride hits in here. Yeah. So I, I love automating the overheads because it allows me to maintain a consistent and kind of also manipulate the high end energy. I think a lot of the high-end energy in your mix comes from the overheads, but you can't just have it cranked up the whole time because, you know, if I had it cranked up this loud so I could hear those ride hits in this section, then the whole rest of the mix would be a mess. So I find you really need to ride it almost like a vocal.
So now we've got lots of that drum distortion and that's kind of making the cymbals pretty dirty. So that's gonna affect the automation here as well. Probably just turn it down a bit. So I'm sending less of it to that distortion. Ooh, it's jumping out of the uh, Tom mics there as well. I'm just gonna mute that. I'm just doing this because it's faster than uh, automating the gate. And yeah, we don't need toms there. All right, there's our overhead. So now we'll come back to the start of the song and kind of automate through kick, snare, and toms kind of all at the same time here. Summer, you've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The world is rushing so fast, I think it will take us under. Kick sounds fine there. Summer, you've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The world is rushing so fast, I think it will take us under. I mean, this is, we're using mostly a live uh, kick drum here. So a lot of times, like at the start of this section, I would do like a automation boost on the kick. Kind of crank up that downbeat. And I might do that at other sections of the song, but I mean, he's already playing it like that and it, and it comes across, which is nice. on there. Okay, let's bring up these ghost notes in the snare. So let's just check our uh, gate automation. Let's just turn it off right here. I'm gonna get more detail on that fill. Yeah, that's better. You bring the sample down.
our snare could jump in. some more uh, snare verb here. I long ago, never let you... I think I'm going to have less kick here and more toms. He's playing them at the same time. out a bit too much there. Need more on that last snare hit. So again, guys, I'm just I'm just listening through here, specifically focusing on kick, snare. Oh, I'm going to come back to the toms because there's a lot of it. But just kick and snare, seeing if there's anything that needs to be brought down or emphasized. <laughs> so here's another section we could automate the gate. Make this kind of realness come through a bit more. So let's bring down the sample and we'll bring up the real snare. Too. Yeah. I'm 
yeah, this stuff makes a big difference. It just kind of brings the drums to life. Find these cool spots and, and make sure they're make sure the listener can hear them. <laughs> so true anthony no one no one talks about this and uh i mean to be honest like i know you guys are sitting here i mean you maybe you guys are just nerds but you're watching me automate like a whole song it's a little bit time consuming but man it just makes makes all the difference you know and it's not like it's not sexy or like a huge hack it's like literally like doing manual (laughs) work you know not hard work but you're doing you're literally moving things with your fingers and really going through bit by bit and that's what makes the difference Let's keep hearing more of the real snare than the sample through this, just for dynamics. I think we can hear most of it, but Let's automate the gate just in case. It's funny you said that actually, Anthony, because as I was eating lunch, I was like, oh man, maybe I should I should cut out that that section where I did the altar boy trick to the guitars and make that into a YouTube video. Yeah, like right here at the end of huge fills like that, I love to just like crank up the drums and just make it intense like that last snare flame, which is awesome. Let's bring down the kick on that fill to have it be more Tom focused. I'm just going to group my toms here because I got two faders. This is where having multiple faders in front of me would be nice, but I've only got the one. So tom one volume. This is literally just all I'm doing with this group is to control the volume of kind of the tom one attack and body track at the same time here. So I'll do that for the tom one and tom two volume. This floor tom hit is not getting through the gate. Let's just fix that. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just really weak. That's oh, still not getting through. There we go. Yeah, I should just start like a, I should just spend the next two months putting up like troll videos on my YouTube channel where it's just like, listen to this 0.1 dB boost. That's, this is just doing everything in the mix. not getting that either whoops guess I could have set my gate a little better that's better try to bring up this ride here too because I find that the symbol just kind of disappears and dies in between snare hits here <laughs> Yeah, the, the 0.1 dB thing would actually probably work so well on YouTube because everyone would just hear it. it like, they wouldn't hear the difference, but they'd be like, man, I just, I just need more practice. And then, like, once I get my ears trained a little better, I'll be able to hear that that 0.1 dB boost. And you'll, you'll also have, like, the odd guy in the comments who's like, you'll have the honest people be like, I didn't hear the difference at all. And then there'll be the odd guy that would be like, man, that's a huge difference. Actually, I think I like it better without the 0.1 dB. Some... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Summer, you've always been the I'm all... Yeah, you need the right converters. <laughs> all right. Drums are sounding pretty good there, I think. Let's keep going. Bass and guitar. Summer, you've always been the <laughs> oh yeah rob that's that's totally it i've been using the 0.1 db boost for a while yeah <laughs> oh man Summer, you've always been the I... can only hear 0.1 on ns10s yeah it's the reality is like the opposite on a dance in the... i think our main guitars could be up a bit here on a dance in the sum I want a dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to see that nice little bump there. Just really make the impact hit hard. On a dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The water's rushing so fast. I think it will take us under. Oh, did you? Say my name. It's 
bring up this piano. Too much. have to change the color of this because I can't see the waveform. There we go. So I don't know if you guys felt this, but I, the bass is definitely way too loud here. The water's so deep, a friend say don't go, but my mouth betrays me and says hold on. And now I hold me and say. Gonna make this drop out more pronounced so it hits harder coming in. Piano's coming through pretty nicely there. Okay, these chugs definitely are too loud. if we can just kind of showcase this kind of strummy clicky guitar part that adds a little extra texture there Yeah, not a bad idea, Mark. Oh, Anthony, uh, mute. Uh, so right on here, if you do command four, open up your automation thing here. So I have this set off. 
So my mute automation is off. So that way I can mute things. Cause I often like to check, like for example, the bass. I wanna hear what happens if I mute it to see what I'm doing. Uh, so I don't, I don't ever write the mute automation. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little tip. Looks like Matt automated up this uh, bass fill here. But that's going into our chain. So let's just zero that out again. Just automate it manually. Make these guitars a bit brighter. Just find it lacking energy there. that slide pop out Truth, but never want the scars. Now I'm here. maybe turn up the bass here too. Truth, but never want the scars. now I'm here my best friend died and I'm the one that's still alive and you say it's gonna be okay over and over and over and over and over and over Okay, I'm gonna try something weird here. Oh, that's a send. Let me see my inserts. On the main guitars, as it's kind of fading out with that little riff. Let me see if I can bit crush it as it fades out. Okay, so we want to end up there. Actually, I'll just do it on the left side and then copy it to the right. So we want to end up there. Where do we want to start it? Yeah, it might be 
be cool. Let me copy that to the right side. Pretty subtle, but it's cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. So we want this off, except. want to hear more of it sooner actually it's kind of just trial and error section here okay we need to cut low end here's another cool little thing guys let's make sure it really kicks in hard here so let's get rid of the low end in this feedback let's give a little slope so it's not a click Need to do it on this guitar track too. Actually, I think this whole thing. <laughs> it's a weird, weird sound part. Maybe we do the same thing on the high end. filter it. Yeah, there we go. Now this little pause sounds smaller, which makes this part sound bigger. It's just all about kind of having things be more exciting. Also, they're both on the left. I'm gonna see what happens if we put this up the middle.
So we're gonna bring down our main rhythm guitar tone so that our low octave can come through more. We got piano and stuff here too. So obviously like we, we kind of want this last section to sound kind of crazy and crowded. I'm just gonna push things a bit. it in even more here. So main rhythm's down, low octave up. that one sound <laughs> want this part to kind of have more dynamics dipping it too much here. Maybe 
maybe just high pass this little part here too. Oh, don't have it automated on this channel. There we go. I'm going to see if I can kind of gradually push the drums even more towards the end here. But that's cool. Our cymbals just got a little too nasty, so let's redo that. All right, sweet. Let's go on to vocals here. And as always, guys, feel free to jump in if you got questions or comments here on this. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I want... So this intro is kind of interesting. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. You've always been... It's almost like I don't want to hear the uh, stereo delay here. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The water's rushing so fast. I think you uh, Shane, I'm, I'm never in mono uh, to automate. Always just stereo. The only time I use mono, and actually I haven't used it at all today, um, but if I'm EQing and there's lots of layers and I can't get something to poke through or something's masking, then I'll EQ in mono. Um, I haven't really just felt the need today. I guess everything was kind of sitting well. But yeah, if, uh, you don't really want to set levels in mono because when you put it to stereo, it's going to be really different. So just just do all your level setting and uh, in, uh, in stereo. You want to swim in the river. I feel like we need to like... It's kind of cool to have it, it it's like so dry. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. That it's like it's kind of jarring. It's kind of almost weird to hear, which is kind of cool. Uh, I think we just might need to filter it a bit though. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. Uh, no, Thomas, I did. I didn't have the vocal muted. I had the vocal, the vocal going the whole time. Uh, yeah, Dave, I'm trying to kind of do that effect here in the intro, but I want to be subtle with it because I don't want it to just be like an obvious kind of telephone effect. But I do want to limit it a bit. You want to swim in the river? I want to dance in the summer. You want to swim in the river? I want to dance in the summer. 
You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. This is a really minor thing, but it's bothering me that you can tell this is a punch-in. I want to swim in the river. I want it. I mean, maybe it's not. I want to swim in the river. I want. I just feel like there should be a breath there. So. This is nitpicky, but let's. Uh, wait, what was that? I should probably read what that said. Oh, well. If something's bad, I'll hear it. River, I want. I want. River, I want. I want. I want a dance in the river. I want a dance in the summer. I don't know if I'll be able to make this work, but I want a dance. I want river. I want it the river. I want a dance in the I want a swim in the river. I want a dance in the Sound weird to you guys? River, I want a dance. You want to swim in the river. I want a dance in the summer. You I want. I want a dance. I want a dance. Swim in the river. I want a dance in the I want a dance. I want a dance in the. You want to swim in the river. I want a dance in the summer. It's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> I don't know if it's bad just because I see it and I know it's a fake breath. Whereas if I didn't know it was a fake breath, I wouldn't even question it. You know. You want to swim in the river. I want a dance in the summer. That's not bad. You want to swim in the river. I want a dance in the summer. I'm gonna keep it for now. You wanna swim in the river. I wanna dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The water's rushing so fast, I think it will take us under. You wanna swim in the river. I wanna dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left. I wanna dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I wanna dance in the summer. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The water's rushing. You've always been the believer. I'm always left to wonder. The water's rushing so fast. I think it will take us under. To wonder. The water's rushing so fast. To wonder. The water's rushing so fast. I to wonder. The water's rushing so fast. I think it will take us under. Okay, a couple ideas I had here. Okay, we don't need to see those inserts. Let's bring our sends in though. Oh, we already automated the vocal delay on here. I'm wondering about like a really long throw delay. longer than I thought. What am I looking for here? Dotted? Oh, 
obviously I'm going to tuck these in. I'm just trying to hear it now. to a long plate. Alright, I'm not even sold on this myself, but let's see if we tuck it in. off to yeah I think that's cool let's keep our oh what happened to our vocal delay Nice one, Cam. Yeah, what happens if we put it at 0.1 dB? I think it's actually a bit too loud.
we need to bring our throw delay in here. I know the automation is maybe a little boring to watch. I see you guys just joking around in the chat. It's hard to find the right level on this vocal. We mute the stereo delay here too. Yeah, maybe let's just bring it down a bit. Let's filter out a bit of low end too. I decided long ago, never let your loved ones know who you really are, who you really are. People want the truth, but never want the scars. Wondering if these shots are like too big. I think so. Who you really are, who you really are People want 
want the truth, but never want the That's better. People want the truth, but never want the scars. And now I'm here. if we put the throw on the end there. the high one um, yeah let's put it on there too that's my level 13 A little bit of like a play on words, right? Because he's saying over and over again. If we can have that kind of repeating and trailing off, that might be cool. Yeah, stuff like this, it's like, I remember I was mixing one song and the vocals were like about being underwater and I put like this weird kind of like bubbly underwater effect on the lead vocal just subtly and I just think it, I don't know, when you can connect the sound to the lyric, it just like, I don't know, it's just, I think just as humans, we, that really like t catches our notice in our brains and we, we connect those two things. So I think if you can do that at any point in a mix, uh, it's really cool. Try to mess with the panning on that. Wonder if I could even just bring it up. Kind of subtle in the mix, but I think it's cool. Need some quarter note delay on it. This 
one is really early and it's kind of bugging me. Never wash my face. I kind of don't want it to fade out there. That's better. Yeah, we could filter this too. Sorry, not that, just the last word. What is that? River, wash my oh, I think it's River Wash Me Clean. Or car. I think I should leave it dry like that. Maybe it needs to be louder, maybe. Maybe pan him out all the way on that last word. how that will right side trails off let's see what eat is doing Crap, is there no undo button on here? What was that, like 30, right? I'm wondering if just on this ending we could have more 
Ah, you can't automate this. Well, screw you, Valhalla. All right, guys, I think this is pretty, pretty cool here. Did I lose a harmony? No. You want to swim in the river. I want to dance in the summer. You've always been the... Ah, Wyatt, good, good idea there. Appreciate you chiming in with the ideas. It's kind of cool to have people with you mixing. That's pretty rare for me. Get some ideas thrown around. So I'm going to try to throw the distorted drums to the plate. I think that's cool. So let's just mute that until the end. It's just kind of like, I like obviously the distorted sound of the drums, but they're just a little bit like short and pokey kind of, and this would maybe fill in the gaps a bit. Glad you said that, Wyatt. That's, uh, I think that helps. All right, I'm gonna throw a little bit of loudness on my mix bus, so just be warned, it's gonna get a bit louder for you guys here. This is really just for my reference to check, like, how is this going to sound when we're approaching, like, loudness level of volume? Did I say loudness level of volume? Like, final master loudness. Yeah, let's check out our mix bus. So we've just been mixing into this, not really checking it. Yeah, that's basically, like, I've used this mix setup and this on my mix bus for so long that I kind of know where the settings are. Once I get to a finished mix, it's going to be doing about two, three dB gain reductions, which is pretty much where we ended up here. But it kind of glues the mix together. Like the way it grabs the snare transients, it kind of just like compacts everything and provides that glue. Like when it's bypassed here, you can kind of, you can kind of tell. Let me find a good section. And I with it. And I reach and your hand in mine and I say you will. I need this hi hat a little harsh. And I reach and your hand. Just because we have time here, let's uh, get more of these ghost notes on the kick. I think that's going to add a lot to the feel if we do this. Just going to try. 
try and copy this. Check out my headphones for low end. I'm going to do the final, not the final, but just a full kind of listen through here. And I'm just going to try and sit back. Maybe you guys do the same thing. Try not to look at the screen or anything like that. Just kind of see what strikes you. I'm going to see if anything kind of jumps out in this mix. It's kind of like what we did earlier today. Just we got to sit back and kind of get the big picture again. <laughs> <laughs> 